Good morning guys. Today we are taking this little guy to his first national park. We're headed to Grossmoor National Park here in Newfoundland. And there's three main things to do. Four if you're really adventurous and want to do some crazy hike. But the three that we have potentially on our list are the Green Gardens Trail, Tablelands, and the boat ride to on the Western Brook Pond, which is like a fjord and there's amazing mountainsides or cliffs with waterfalls and stuff. So that's on our agenda today. We have to drive about an hour to get there, but we are just wrapping up our time here at this amazing campground. And we really don't want to leave, but the weather is too good to pass up to explore the national park, so we gotta go. So we move a bit slower with the baby, but we are in the parking lot at Western Brook Pond. It's a 45 minute hike to get there, but we are just doing a quick change and then we are off to the hike. You wanna get here an hour before, but apparently the hike's about 45 minutes, so we're gonna have to be moving quick. We are officially on the trail. Officially on the trail. You can see the valley from a distance. It's a little hazy though, so hopefully it's not too hazy once we get in there. So we got 10 minutes to go, and we're basically, I would say, a quarter of a kilometer remaining. So I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I think we left with like 35, maybe 40 minutes to spare. So we're not Canadian, so please excuse me if I forget this or if I get this wrong, but there was just a sign that said the valley, the mountain walls, is taller than the CN Tower, and I think that's in Toronto. Right? The like, not, yeah. the like Seattle thing, oh, Space, like needle. Space Needle. I think there's one in Toronto, and that might be the CN Tower. And it's taller than that, so these are pretty massive. Well, this is the largest gorge, or fjord. Do they mean height-wise, or depth in? Maybe both. We made it! Woohoo! Okay, pro tip. Don't be the last ones onto the boat, if you want to get good shots, I guess. We're basically the last people on, but it'll be fine. We have a little baby, so it's a little difficult to uh, be punctual. I mean, we're on time. We're on time. It's not early. We made it. We made it. Where's the little buddy yet? He's looking around. Good afternoon, folks. How are we all doing today? Excellent. So we're not the biggest fans of guided tours, but this boat tour is awesome. And even though we didn't get on the boat early to sit on the top deck or get a nice position in the front of the boat, the captain does a great job making sure everyone can see all the major highlights and the long range mountains do not disappoint. We were a bit skeptical too because we've seen fjords in Iceland and Norway, but Western Brook Pond held up to the competition and it was epic. There's even funny rock formations tucked into the mountainside like this face here and even this man looking straight up to the sky. Sun's rising, let the light in. Hello, good morning. All the places I'll go and the roadside. Let go. All the mountains. We're back, buddy. I've yet to climb. Oh yeah, that's cool. Oh yeah, I'm excited. Western Brook, what are your thoughts? I think it's safe to say it is a must do. It's $72 <coughs> yeah. per In person. I think Wyatt liked it, being on the boat ride. He did sleep a lot the of whole it. Time. But Beautiful we, views. We talked to the tour guide and about Tablelands and Garden Green, or Green, Green Garden. Green Garden Trail. We gotta add oh. those two to the list, but so far Grossmoor National Park is Amazing. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. It has been a week since the last time we camped at this spot. We actually headed all the way west to hit St. John's. 
Quitty Vitty, Dildo, Twillingate, and all of those sweet little towns because we thought that there was a hurricane coming, so we wanted to get over there and get back before we actually got hit by it. Luckily, no hurricane, but here today we are going to finish Grossmoor National Park and we are super excited. We have a full day of hiking planned today, starting with Green Gardens Trail and then hopefully getting to Tablelands tonight so that we can have a nice relaxing day by the water tomorrow. So wish us luck that Wyatt wants to put on his hiking boots today. We're hoping that once we're done all of these hikes today, we can come back here tonight and enjoy this for our last day here on Newfoundland. Ready, boys? Yes, ma'am. Yes, we are. We're just getting our tripods ready and our gear. Little man's getting winding down for a nap. We got a 25 minute drive to the place where we get the park pass for the day and then we can start our hiking. We have gotten so, so lucky on this trip with the weather. It has been absolutely beautiful. It only rained one day, I think. And when we were looking at the forecast prior to coming, it was literally supposed to rain every single day. So we are getting super, super lucky. But today it is absolutely gorgeous out and perfect for a few hikes. Got the day pass, just leave this on the dash of your van or a car or whatever and go explore wherever you need to explore. It is freaking windy here. I am not lying either. Just They said Tablelands, which is right back there where you see the Earth's mantle, you can walk on the Earth's mantle, is really, really windy. But wow, we are just on the outskirts of Tablelands, which is the start of Green Gardens here. We'll have to keep the little guy nice and bundled because it's gonna be pretty intense. Scratch that, we're gonna have a bit of a delay on the trail. Little man was a little hungry and needed to eat first. <sighs> Nice 30 minute delay here. <laughs> Man life with a baby. Maybe he'll be quicker than 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he said, don't count on it. Lunch time is over. Okay. It's time to get on the trail. Well, this hat is probably not gonna last. Hopefully, uh, the wind lets up a little bit. My God. Yeah. Six more miles to go. This is a nine kilometer loop. All Trail says it's even longer than that, like 6.2 miles. So there's probably something, maybe you get, you get to the lookout, maybe you can go down the lookout or something. But I'm really hoping once we get over this hill, this Me wind too. dies down. Me too. But the little man's doing all right. We got him bundled up. He's doing great. And he'll be all right. See, there's no cue cards and there's nothing cinematic. Looks like we made it over the peak. Halfway there. But the wind is still on us. Coming back, it is gonna be nasty. Now we heard that there could be a herd of sheep on this trail and we just passed the gentleman who said there was. So I wonder if they're still down here when we're uh, gonna be walking by. Apparently they're domesticated and they just graze on this trail in the summertime. We'll see. I think we're getting close to the coastline because we're getting like a nice cool sea breeze and it's coming from the sea obviously with the sea breeze instead of a land breeze that we were getting back at the beginning of the trail. It does feel very nice. I'm enjoying this breeze. Nice little waterfall right here along the trail. What a nice little treat. Looks so refreshing. I could use a little bit of that water right now. Let's get there. A razzle dazzle, not yet ready. Uh. Some of those might be. Yeah, there's some back there. About to come back. We just saw some sheep dung. 
what we assume is sheep dung. Hopefully it's not bear dung. bear dung or what is it called for the proper term bear scat or something. This coast reminds us of Oregon a lot or Northern California. This part of the trail too. Reminds me of Oregon that is. Yeah. That is beautiful. Holy smokes. Really, really pretty. What a view here, my gosh. It's so good, bud. I'm so proud of you. Your first long hike. Yeah, that was pretty intense. Yeah. Not done yet, though. And we gotta go all the way back. And we just made it to the end. You can go down to the beach, or you can actually go 750 meters, continue that way to, I think it was Steve's Cove, maybe? But uh, our little guy needs to eat, and we found a little picnic table that's kind of protected from the wind. So we'll just rest here, eat our peanut butter and jellies. Why we'll have some uh, mommy food oh, and then we'll probably start what? our trek back north. What a beautiful hike. Definitely recommend. It is, the views at the end are so, so beautiful. Nothing better than a peanut butter and jelly on a hike. Seriously. So good. Mm. Mm. Pretty view. I can't believe how windy it is. Oh my god, here. Wind rips down here. So windy? They were not joking. Mm -mm. No sheep. Oh yeah, I'm bummed. All those sheep down. If you're curious, it took us, we left at noon and it's 1.20, so we've been here for like five minutes probably, so an hour and 15 to get here. Not bad. It'll probably take like an hour and 30, hour and 40 to get back up. But Especially if we stop for the waterfall. True. Yeah, and that's us filming and stuff, so you could probably do it faster if you're not trying to get all these cinematic clips or whatever. Or if you don't have a baby attached to you. Or if you don't have a baby attached to you, so really not too bad. But we still haven't we still haven't trekked our way back up, so we'll let you know our final opinion at the end. We might feel differently. Well, 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 the little man decided to have his first hike blowout on his first hike. Oh, yeah. A little bit of a delay there with a bit of a blowout and some spit up. I had to do a full change. Poor guy had to get changed in this cold, windy weather. He was a champ, though. He was. We're going to be making our way back now. And boy, are these views phenomenal. Man, that water, it looks Nasty. Yeah. I think we were too late to see any of the sheep, unfortunately. Just a whole lot of dung. Wow. What a pretty clip. Beautiful. Okay, we started this one at about 2.15, maybe a couple, one or two minutes earlier than that. So we'll see how long it takes to get back to the top. And hopefully... hopefully. <laughs> that longer. Then 3.45. Oh, cozy He's boy. enjoying it. All right, let's go inspect this waterfall that we went by the first time. See how it really is here. Oh, little sketchy going down. Whoa. Taylor, or Wyatt and Mama are staying back. Might be a little tough with the little guy. Whoa. Ooh, really loose rock. Really a nice size waterfall. That is really nice. We got here earlier and it was really hot. This would be a perfect little swimming hole right here. So if you have all day and it's really hot, Head down to the waterfall for a nice little swim outside of the wind. It would be nice. All 
I do not advise going to the waterfall on the way back up to the car because that is straight up and it takes a lot of energy and you got four and a half kilometers uphill as well. So if you're gonna do the waterfall, do it on the way down. How are we doing? Oh, we're doing. Heart rate's up. Heart rate's up. We have to go all the way yeah. up there. We're close. Winded. Woo. You're literally at the top of this mountain. You're going all the way down to the coast. Oh. Well, we're almost done. We have one more switch back. And we are out of here. So close. 322. I think we did pretty well. And we stopped for the waterfall. And we ate. We changed him. It only took us three hours. <sighs> Feels good to sit. Oh, hello. Oh, he knows the sound of the van, I guess. Hello. We're gonna regroup, get some energy back, and then off the table ends. <laughs> no, not table ends. It'll be quick. Buddy. Oh, that was why it's saying that? <laughs> I wasn't kidding when I said I was sweating to death. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, to be fair, the cloth is right on you, so. Oh, I am dying. We'll eat the apple. Whew, all right. Off to table ends. 30 more minutes of hiking in our future, and then. How many more? 30, right? I thought it's an hour. <laughs> <laughs> is that how you feel about it, Wyatt? Uh, I thought it was 30 minutes. Uh, we'll find out. An hour sounds much worse. And then a nice, good pasta dinner. Hopefully we get our camp spot too. If we don't get our camp spot, that's going to be a huge bummer huge on the bummer. night. Because we don't really have another place to go right now. Mom right. um, and Dad switched it up for a Tablelands hike. It is 4.10. We just started the hike. This one's supposed to be shorter than the Green Gardens hike that we were just on. Hopefully we can do it in an hour or even less. Crossing my fingers, less. It's an easy trail compared to Green Gardens, which is, I believe, moderate. So hopefully it should be out and back. We'll be done and ready for some dinner because Daddy's getting hungry already. Yeah. But look at us, two hikes two with the little baby. Two hikes with the little guy and he's doing fantastic. Yeah, Doesn't he, he really, look thrilled? Yeah, he really is. <laughs> So what makes this hike pretty unique is we're actually walking on the Earth's mantle. To the right of us, you can tell that there's the Earth's mantle or very close to it because the left side of us has trees and a lot of plants. But on the right side here, there's very little and that's because of the contents of, I guess, the minerals or the lack of nutrients in the mantle. There's not enough nutrients to support life. The worst soil oh, on earth. Yeah. For a plant living here is like growing in a polluted junkyard. Serpentine soil is full of toxic metals and it contains almost no nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, or potassium, and very little calcium. Interesting. It is. Bill not. Ah! Gosh. The other the other Bill and I just smack yourself in the face. The other trail, a bug flew into my nose. I had to blow it out. And then now, just into my ear. <laughs> I mean, what's with these bugs? All right, we are officially on the Earth's mantle. Feels different. Feels really different. Back to the van? Yeah, I don't know if there's oil in the water, but right there, it looks like there's like toxic probably, water. Probably the metals. Yeah, looks pretty gnarly. That was cool and all, but of the two hikes, I would recommend Green Garden over Tablelands. Not really much of a rock girl. But if you are. But if you are. 
This is the one for you. Yeah. All right. Oh, How long did we take? That's a good question, Mom. Let's stay. 518. An hour and eight minutes. Yeah, and we lingered at the top a little bit. Yeah. We're all done hiking for the day, buddy. All done for the trip, buddy. Good job. High five. Boop. We did so good. All right. Now it's time to work on our heater because something's up with it and we need heat tonight. So. Okay. Hair is a complete wreck. Let's hope I can fix this. If you're interested in van life, we have a hydronic heating system that heats our water, our air, and our floors. We can heat it while we drive using the engine's heat. We can heat it via the furnace underneath the van, or if we connect to shore power via electricity. For some reason, the thermostat's not working, and this occurred on Friday of Labor Day weekend. So, Friday night of Labor Day weekend, so we can't get in contact with the company until Tuesday. So we are four days with potentially out, out of heat and hot water. Luckily with our system, we're able to get hot water when we drive, like I said, but that only lasts for so long. So we kind of have to keep the engine running for a little bit and right when we park, shower right away, or we kind of run out of it. So hopefully I just unplug the entire thing. I'm gonna wait a minute or two, maybe even longer, and then plug it all back together and have my fingers crossed that it's gonna work. It's working. Holy shit. Hopefully it stays working. I don't know what I did, but I just played around with the wires. Maybe a wire was loose. Last thing to check off the day is whether or not we can get our really good camp spot again. Don't want to sound greedy because it'll be our third time getting it if we get it tonight. But it would just be really, really nice to have our second to last night in our favorite spot. Hey, moment of truth. There's a couple cars back here already, I see. Let's see if we get lucky here. There's a van or a car. Holy smokes, no one's there. Wow, we got so lucky again. Wow, Taylor. Okay. How about that? Well, we made it back to our camp spot. Our heater's working. We did two hikes with the baby. He's a little fussy right now, but he just needs to eat and it's almost his bedtime. It's all right. He needs a bath. But other than that, gross morn was pretty freaking epic. We really enjoyed it. And what a way to finish our time here in Newfoundland. It's been an amazing road trip. An amazing time. The people are so friendly. We love it. We will be back. Next time you see us, we will be in Nova Scotia. We have to go home for a couple, two weeks, and then we'll be back. Right, bud? Yeah, you play with daddy. All right, time to go. Say bye. Say, hope you like gross morn. <laughs>